Hello, now we will learn about the repeat instruction, repeat and end repeat instruction in this tutorial and I will show you how we can understand what is repeat and how it's work. Okay, so what I will do, I will just take one data block and in this data block, uh, I just give new db data one data okay just take the name data and here i will write data underscore one now here i will take array so i will take array of integer so here i will take just 20 data So here data 1 to 20 integer is available okay now what I will do here I will use one loop that is first of all here I will define one uh, I and K which we will use this i and k for the for loop so here i will initialize the i and send it value 0 means my starting value is 0 now if you take here data 1 directly array from 1 to 20 then program will give you error the program will give you error so what to do here you have to initialize those with the those value which you have started from here so my starting value index is 0 so I should take i as 0 okay now I will write repeat so in this repeat what I will do for the repeat I will take one data like data 0 here then data 1 okay data 1 and data 2 now i will send here some constant value you can say i am sending 60 value okay now here i will send here another 60 value okay sixty. now what I will do I will inside this loop I will make another uh, if loop if statement so I will write if I have one input switch one I have used that switch one into this HMI you can see switch, this is switch one I will use switch 1 and switch 2 for this understanding so I will write switch 1 is true if switch 1 is true okay then what I will do I will run one for loop for here I will use I this one and uh, I our starting address is 0, it's 0. So I will write 0, 2, I will write 5. Up to 5, I will use this. Uh, for in this example, I will take up to 5 data for understanding. The increment of data is 1. And what I will do, I will just change, I will. Uh, change this data from 1 0 to 5 as a 55 value so whenever you are using that things you have to just drag and drop this data on value here okay then you need to write a bracket uh, i okay and the bracket and what you will write here 55 
so I will end the loop for and for and for it bracket and I will make and if with the end if and here what I have did I have write that if my switch one is pressed then up data up to 0 to 5 I want to write 55 value so when we, I press switch 5 my this data 0 to 5 will be written 55 but if switch five, switch 1 is not pressed then this default data will be there ok 60 value will be there now here what I will do I will write one instruction until ok what it is until until is used to define that it, what, at what condition this this loop should be run up so I will write not sw2 ok now and after the entry instruction there is a no semicolon you have to remember there is a no semicolon here so and what you will do you will make and repeat and repeat at the end repeat there must be a semicolon okay so what we have did we have defined one repeat loop from up to this up to this and in this in this loop up to this loop what we have did we have make simple program we are writing this three data as 60 but if my switch one is press then the data will be 55 store at two, 0 to 5 okay so we have uh, write this uh, simple program but understand this loop is run continuously run if the switch 2 is not pressed it means that you can your program will work until s2 is not pressed okay so if s2 is pressed your program will stop here okay so i will explain you here let's download it let's load it okay now here i will monitor the loop you can see here my data is 60 here why because switch one is not pressed yet okay so i will monitor it so you can see 0 1 and 2 is press 60 value so what will happen if I press switch 1 up to 0 to 5 will be value store will be 55 so as soon as I press my switch 1 you can see up to 0 to 5 my value store 55 if I remove this one then what happen my value 3 4 and 5 is remain 55 because we have not defined any condition here what will be the value when it is a uh, uh, after if switch one is not pressed that's why here the value 3 4 5 is 55 okay so what I will do I will make data bit changes because it's not look like good I will make here else statement you can see I will write else and I will just copy this one sorry cut it here and uh, sorry I have to write this one at here and I will write control V here ok and uh, control C control V control three, 4 and 5 so I will write here 2 3 3 and uh, 
4 and 5 now I will download this okay so here you can see my all value is came now 60 60 60 0 to 5 so here I have used and here I am using constant now what will happen if I press which one it will change all the all the value change here 55 so I want to explain only one thing that this operation if if statement and for loop is work only if I did until I did not press switch to if I press switch to this will not work because the repeat loop will not work here okay so let's check here you can see 55 and 60 is working as I press switch 1 but what happen if I press switch 2 it will do nothing because my loop my this end loop is stop working monitor and monitor loop here you can see my this condition at this condition it will stop working now if I press switch 2 it came here and value store here but if I press switch 2 again I cannot use this switch 1 okay you can see but if I press switch 2 my loop will work you can see so according to this switch this in until instruction whatever you define condition according to that condition this repeat loop this loop will work if you define a condition whatever the condition if it that is true here it will work here otherwise if this condition is not okay then this loop will stop work and it will store the last data okay as you can see here it is it has a last data so you have to program according to that so here you can see my internal if and for loop is working but if i press switch to my dead loop and for loop is not working because the main loop repeat is not repeating okay so i hope you have understand this uh, program very well and thanks for watching this tutorial Now, uh, now here I have explained you that I can take constant here, but here you can also use, here you can also use this for loop, okay, this for loop here also as well, but if you want to use the for loop, you have to define, uh, define the index here and the same thing for i0 to 5 by 1 2 and the same instruction you can write here okay so i have defined that i have described you here that we can uh, use this constant uh, constant parameter sending method and if you want to use the for loop then you can also use here so these are the two tricks I have shown you. Uh, whichever you feel better, you can use. Okay. So, thanks for watching this tutorial.